Friday. I want to wheeze me here 210 in the morning. Friday, November 6th, we just fully upgraded. Hammer Slam Bowser in the standard form took him down Koopa Commander. When you do the math, the numbers initially don't seem that impressive, but uh, take a little time to think it through, and uh, you've got essentially three to 600 uh, coming off from those Koopa Troopas. So needless to say, Molten Monstrosity uh, is facing an uphill battle he'll <laughs> an uphill battle here damage wise so let's see what we can do here uh, we will come in and log the supercharged damage again I'm not I'm planning to do that for everyone I can't do it right now for some of the upgrades because we don't have their vehicle uh, but I'll do it mainly off camera however for special interest things like Bowser and Donkey Kong they're gonna get logged on camera for your enjoyment or not, I don't know. I assume if you're watching these videos, you're, you're a little bit more advanced than most people and you kind of care more about the numbers because that's, that's sort of what this is all about. So, uh, Koopa Commander, if you want to see that, check the links down below. Again, we took it with Hammer Slam Bowser. Personally, from an aesthetics level, it just seems to flow better. You've kind of got the bright, colorful, red shelled Koopa and everything. It ties in better to me with standard Bowser. Dark Bowser, though, a little bit more sinister. Uh, therefore, I believe he lines up better with Molten Monstrosity. So, uh, power up with new Mighty Lava attacks to make enemies feel the burn. That's just what we're going to do again. Uh, at level 74, if we regret this, we can switch over. <laughs> but, uh, no pointless cutscene. It is an upgrade. It's, that's an upgrade in and of itself. So, speaking of upgrades, we've got seven Wing Sapphires, so our prices are a little funky. Uh, if we didn't have any Wing Sapphires, we would need 6,900 for the, uh, upgrade path. These three that are, you know, one, two, three. 4K for the, uh, Soul Gem 10-9. For those and then with a max discount of 10 wing sapphires your path upgrades come all the way down to 5520 your soul gem comes down all the way to 3200 8160 is what you would need so quite a discrepancy there we fall somewhere in the middle and we are ready to pick this up so molten hammer 1462 press y three times to do a massive lava slam attack so why three times right now? It's essentially swing to the left, swing to the right, double overhand vaults, uh, damage number wise, 30 to 45, 30 to 45, 40 to 60. So that's how it's been. That's what it still is for our fully upgraded uh, Hammer Slam regular. So let's see what we get here in terms of a damage increase. All right, we'll go ahead and back out of there. Let's check this thing out. We're not going to get numbers just yet. Oh yeah, you can see the fury there. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, most notably, you can see kind of like the red shells have sort of now got like a glowing nuclear orange type of a vibe going down. That's of course because it's filled with lava, so uh, that's our primary attack. Just if you, you know, simultaneously tap it. With a little interval, you can get the one, the two, and then over the head for the real pounding. So let's see what we get. We're getting 30, 45, 40 to 60 on the finish. What? Same damage. Well, it looks way better. Okay, so 55, is that what we saw there at the end? So 30, 30, 55. Okay. Personally, I would have preferred that all three bump up. It certainly looks like it should have based on how the uh, hammer itself changed, but Molten Hammer will be 30 to 45. 30 to 45, and I think that was 55, so that would be 83 on our trip. So let's see if we can rattle one of those up. 1, 2, 55. One, two. He is someone that benefits greatly from a speed hat. Uh, if you can find one that you think suits him, it kind of takes him to the next level, really. Alright, so Dark Bowser, he is a juggernaut of health. You can see he's level 11, he's sitting at 693, so... Uh, almost Stock Stump Smash, right? <laughs> Level 10 Stump Smash way back in the day. Anyway, uh, I don't know that we'll get one. There is a... So there's some really nice critical hit hats, too. You get the idea, 30, 30, 55, right? We've covered it. So, let's come in, get path upgrade number two. Are you ready for a new magical upgrade? 
Now this looks exciting to me. So it's called the Bowser Bomb 1892 with 7 wing sapphire discount. Press X to enter Molten Bowser mode, causing an explosion and massive damage to enemies around you. So if you recall when he entered Molten Bowser, uh, I don't believe there was any damage because I had tried to log it and there was nothing. You just had the swipe and the fire breath. But now the animation indicated that there should have been to me and it looks like now that's going to take place uh, hopefully there's like a little lava echo or something but uh, what I'm curious about is when we exit it will there be anything and also how much damage but we'll check this out and then we will evaluate and make sure that we don't get any increases in there all right so let's take a few let's back out actually <laughs> then uh, here's one two three so that kind of I want you to pay attention to the ground there you get kind of a feel for the uh, lava filled hammer we're wielding now and so what we want to do is uh, just press the X button away from the dummy oh yeah okay I don't think we'll do damage whenever we just you know revert back to normal but man does that look cool when we injure molten mode so uh, swipe, fire, alright let's make sure we're doing the same there again, the swipe, where were we sitting at? Uh, 45, 68, fire breath was 20 to 30 with 3 at close range, so yeah, still same damage numbers there, 45, 68, and fire breath, yeah, 20, 20, 20, so let's go ahead and exit, and you know what, no, let's... Let's come in and exit, just to be sure. I don't think there's going to be any. No. But now there's going to be some damage. I think it might be 20-ish. Let's find out. 35! Oh, nice. Now, what would have been really cool is if it, like, set the enemy on fire briefly. And just did, like, a 2 to 3 damage type thing. So, uh, entering Molten Bowser, though, now 35, 53. You can seamlessly enter in and out of it. Uh, you know, perhaps spawn off some Koopas that might have gone away type of a deal so Bowser Bomb 35 to 53 Lava Splash entering Molten Mode. that makes sense right? <laughs> I think it does so we got that one long this one's a bit easier to uh, Place that Keep you up go, with I can reach and bring you the magical All right, upgrades. our final upgrade for the path, Infinite Fire 25. Hey, this is what I wanted. Um, now, if we can rotate while we do this, I will be a happy man. I'm thinking that we can't because he's got his typical aggressive stance. Um, if we can rotate, though, sunburn, eat your heart out, man. This will be fantastic. Uh, 2580 again with the seven wing sapphires. Hold A while in molten Bowser mode to deliver a continuous stream of fire. Now I hope it maintains, since we didn't get an increase to the swipe or the fire breath in terms of damage output, I'm hoping that this increases the damage output too. I guess it wouldn't have to, but if I had to pick between 20 to 30 becoming a greater number or staying the same and allowing me to cycle 360, I would take the rotation every time, but I'm thinking that's not going to happen. Uh, Alright, so first thing first, let's back out of here. We want to enter Molten Mode and make sure we're still 35-53. Yes. Now the swipe, is it still 45? Yeah. Would have been nice if that jumped up to like 50. 50-75. Because, uh, I mean, let's face it, Koopa Commander does nothing with this mode essentially so uh, we got 50 45 68 still let's just tap a and see if we're still 20 to 30. yeah we are but okay so that's awesome it stays there now can i rotate now wait kind of i can't Ooh. it's almost 180 degrees it's like a <laughs> 15 or so shy looking, but hey, uh, let me get out here in the open. Yeah, so this is actually, this is acceptable to me. Uh, what it is, I mean, if you lock your feet in kind of like a forward aggressive stance, if you're going to, you know, pounce on someone, 
you can sort of clock your head and you know maneuver your body, but you can't obviously unless you're an owl, I guess, you know, turn your head 360 degrees. But this little radius here, that will work lovely. Uh, and did the range get better? I think the range, I don't know if it's just me. It looks like that should hit the dummy from here. That does. Suck that dummy. <laughs> well, one of them did anyway. But, uh, let's get up here. Okay, so, you get the idea. I mean, picture enemies trying to get around us, and then we got, like, the tough guy there. Oh, yeah. And then we just come in and wail on him while we've got Koopas going in the meantime. Keep in mind, something you'd probably want to do if you take this path. Oh, I can't spawn the warp pipe. <laughs> okay, so what you would want to do is take advantage of royal authority. And one, two, three. Get the Koopa shell spinning. Enter molten mode. You don't get the dry bones or anything. But, uh... That'll get those guys going and attacking, and then if you can kind of jump on them from time to time, you could sustain them, and then just come in and unleash the fury there. Yeah. So, that would be probably the most advantageous playstyle. Not probably always going to be the easiest thing to do, but uh, it would work. So, infinite fire. That's infinite. <laughs> uh, 20 to 30. And then the cool thing, though, you've got roughly... 180 degree radius. So, I'm cool with that. Again, 360 would have been OP, but it's Bowser. I kind of kind of expect him to be OP. So, nonetheless, we got one more thing to check out. That is the soldier. Then we'll get some uh, supercharged damage logged here. So, uh, this is it. This is Molten Bones. Press X to turn into Molten Bowser. So, that's a benefit here because we're going to do 3553, unlike. Uh, our Hammer Slam counterpart down Koopa Commander, that's of no benefit. Um, turning into Molten Bowser transforms all active Koopas into Molten Bones, which do more damage to enemies. Now, something that would have been a nice play off of this in an integration is if you, like, can breathe fire with your infinite fire on these and kind of sustain them just like a hit from the hammer would type of a deal. So, uh, again, I guess that would have been a bit much, but still, <laughs> it's it's pretty dadgum cool so 48.27 we got some coins left in the bank let's go ahead and buy this and ladies and gentlemen with that we have now fully explored both paths for Bowser and uh, you should be seeing these videos not Friday which is today technically uh, Saturday it's 2.22 a.m. as I say that but let's go ahead we're gonna enter our uh, mode here still 35.53 Let's exit now so we can spawn in the Koopas. We'll go ahead. Let's just do one right now. So there's one. All right. So he's standard attack. Really? Let's make sure he's. Sh well, that was 53 because it was a critical hit. So Koopa attack 10 to 15. Molten time. He's dry bones. 10 to 15. Then he should explode. 35-53. Yeah, so it's just critical both times, I think, is what's happening. Alright, and then... It's about what we had before. Let's go ahead now and... Uh, get these guys spinning. See if we can... We never could really log a uh, spinning guy exploding. We could see it, but we never got the damage. I think that one might have done it. The, they may not actually explode, but again, if you have this active, and you go Molten, you got Dry Bones, not quite as cool as the Paratrooper Dry Bones, but still, they try. 10 to 15, and then 35, 53 on the explosion. Alright, so, Soul Gym, uh, King Koopa, I'm sorry, Koopa Commander would have the uh, advantage there, so, uh, Molten Monstrosity, 15, 35, 53, exit. All right. Now, what we gotta do is we gotta get the clown cruiser on here and see what the damage numbers change to in supercharge form. Clown cruiser, supercharged. 
good news is I think this video will get done quicker than the last one. But uh, all right, so first thing we gotta do, let's come up here. Uh, molten monstrosity. You got molten hammer. So 30, 45, 30, 45, 55, 83. One, two, three. So 30, 30, 55. Standard attack. Let's see what we got now. I got is that 42? I think it is. So hard to see some of these numbers with that lightning bolt in there. So I'm pretty sure it's 42. What? That was a one, one something. Okay. 42, 42, 77. Oh, snap. Okay. So molten hammer, 42 to 63. 42 to 63. And then 77 was that 116? Half of 77 is going to be what? That'd be 38.5, which would be 39. That would be at 116. So that took a significant jump <laughs> in the uh, positive direction there. So let me go ahead and in my spreadsheet, when you see like. Uh, Koopa Commander is just going to have the information with the numbers, right? I don't have Dark Bowser, a spare one to take down that path. So, anytime you see like square brackets, that's going to indicate it's a dark supercharged version because they do slightly more damage than standard supercharged version, which I don't know why. I actually tweeted to Lou about that. We'll see if he responds. But so, uh, now Bowser Bomb is up next. We did 3553. Uh, basically right here when you enter Molten Mold, that sort of like lava splash you see, uh, we now get attack damage from that. And since we are supercharged, and we're dark, we should have the supercharged damage plus whatever the dark bonus seems to be. So, 3553 is what we had. Let's see what we got now. Was that 40 or 48? I cannot tell. Man. Or it could be 49. Is it 49? If I could get the critical, we could back backwards log this thing. In editing, I should be able to see this just fine. But I would like to know definitively. I think it's 48 or 9, but it can just as easily be. Uh, getting a critical hit would be a 74, okay, so uh, half a 74. 37, so 49 would be 24, 5, yeah, it was 74, right, or was it 7, dang it, <laughs> I've forgotten now, was it 77 or was it 74, if we could just see the freaking number, well 48 would be 72, 49 would actually come as a 74. And then like 50 obviously would be 75. Was it 74 that we saw? I say so many numbers. Yeah, 74. So it's 49 to 74. Alright. Again, if I wish the number was a little easier to see, but uh, from where I'm sitting, difficult to do that. Uh, next up, we have got Infinite Fire, which we have a 180 degree, basically molten mode, whole day, 20 to 30, and we got about a 180 degree radius here. At some point, so I guess you kind of lock to lock down. Now you see it better, right? Basically lock to lock, hip to hip. If this jumped all the way to 30 to 45, that would just be fantastic. Okay, 28, I'll take it. 28 to 42, you get the idea here. This is rapid fire destruction of everything. Uh, you could deforest <laughs> a, uh, certain levels in this game. So, uh, 28 to 42, fantastic. And now we need to take a look at Molten Bones. The exit uh, that we had was 3553, so we want to spawn in a paratrooper, go into Molten Mode. What's he going to do? 14. Okay. So 14, 21, dash. And what was that? I could not tell. Let's get three of them. Alright. 
So you should see a lot of 14 to 21 so we need another number. Is it 49? I think it was. Hmm. Alright. So that's going to mean King Coop Trooba exit 4669. Dark Bowser. Uh, 14 to 21 dash. I'm assuming that the spin will be 1523. And then exit is going to be 49. Let's get to uh, log three more of these guys. It's Really? 21 on the spin. <laughs> That's odd. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there are 49 there, so 49 to 74 is what we will document that as. And close bracket. The spin itself, though, it's interesting because. Koopa Commander, 1421 dash, 3553 spin, I mean exit, the spin was still 15 to 23. Wait, 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 46 to 69 on the exit. 14, huh. I'll have to go back and actually check that, so what is the spin here? I guess that's what we need to find out. Okay, we got one good. Okay, well, so, 14 to 21 dash, <laughs> and then spin is equal to 21, 10 and a half, 11, 32, exit 49, 74. Alright, I think we've got this done now. It's a little confusing when you're this tired, and there's a lot... Well, the main thing is, like, why do the dark versions have the stat bump? They don't have it box stock, but when you supercharge them, they do. So, let's actually pull him and investigate this. We got the clown cruiser in place. We got regular hammer slam going down. And all we have to do here is essentially... We know that the Koopa Commander was 46 to 69 on the exit, but I didn't log dash or spin attack damage, so here we go. We're gonna get that going. Okay, so 18. Alright, why did we not log this again? 18 to 27 dash. I feel like I mentioned it, actually. Uh, maybe it's just because it would be the same as the above with that. So it's the same as Koopa Paratroopa, basically. So. We'll go ahead and put it here just to be safe. So, uh, would have, should have done that initially, and it would have saved me the trouble. So, dash equals 18 to 27. Spin. Let's spawn this up. Hit it. And we gotta let it slow down. Should be the 21, right? Not 20 to 30. Okay. So, spin. 20 to 30, and then we should have the 22, 24, 26. Let's go ahead and make sure. One, two, and three, 26, yeah. Did it again to be safe. It's set at 26. <laughs> okay. And just to confirm to you, some of you are like, wait, don't you get damage when you enter molten mode here? Let's wait for the shell. Okay, well, I didn't know this was still there. Huh. Interesting. 33 on the slam. Anyway, we're getting into stuff that doesn't matter. We got what we need here. And uh, I am I'm don't know if I'm going to make it through Animal Crossing tonight, but I'll try. I should have somebody uh, camping. Pretty soon, we'll see. 
Mac just moved out, so somebody cool I might try to get him to stay. Anyway, this is Dark Hammer Slam Bowser, fully upgraded down the Molten Monstrosity Path. How dare they call his royal coopiness <laughs> a monstrosity. But uh, we're gonna hop over here, fire out some Greebles, and uh, have some fun. Alright, so first thing first, let's just eradicate him with the supercharged hammer. It's always a good time. Oh, they got wrecked there. So, molten mode. <laughs> Harm and the foul. Okay, so that's what we need to do now is get three of them out here. Right. There's the molten mode. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna fan these suckers. Nope, I'm getting my blind spot. So, you see how effective he can be, basically. He's got the cool jump when he's all smoky like that. <laughs> Um, we got Bowser Bomb, we got Molten Air, we got Infinite Fire, we covered everything pretty much here, so, uh, that said, this is Dark Hammer Slam Bowser, again, fully upgraded down Molten Monstrosity, we also came in and logged the Supercharged Damage, which, since it is Dark Bowser, it is slightly higher than Regular Bowser would be in Supercharged form, despite the fact that they do the same damage number on the standard attacks, so, I can't quite explain that part, like if the primary attack, it was, you know, Hammer Slam does 10 to 15, Dark does 12 to 18, and then Supercharged, you know, it was 20 to uh, 30, and then 24 to 36, that would make sense. The thing is, base attack, Standard and Dark is 10 to 15, and then when you Supercharge it, Standard jumps up to the 12 to 18, and then Dark jumps from 10 to 15 past the supercharged standard at 12 to 18 all the way up to like 15 to 23 and I don't really know why but I'm not gonna argue with it because it's beneficial to us so I'm just I'm the type that would like to know like why things are the way they are so if I get answers I will let you know uh, that said this will be I guess I should get Tariff and Spreadsheet out too but uh, you'll see the spreadsheet with these videos, so uh, it'll be on the Skylander Club forum and my personal site, oneweasem.com. I'll have all the links down below. Basically, take them. You can see base upgrades for Hammer Slam and Dark Hammer Slam Bowser. You will see Hammer Slam Bowser doing down the Koopa Commander path with supercharged damage, and then you will see Dark Hammer Slam Bowser that you see here, uh, Molten Monstrosity with supercharged damage once again. All those links down below as well as their introductions, the vehicle introductions, basically the whole library on uh, Hammer Slam Bowser in his standard and dark forms. And then of course if you take those other links that I'll have outlined and spelled out nicely for you, you will be able to go to the Skylander Club forum or my site which I guess Skylander Club forms my side too, but you get the idea, and you can actually see the spreadsheet there. So it's going to be a big one, I'll warn you right now. It's, it's got three columns this time. You got the, you know, data tag, you've got the original uh, set of <laughs> attack damage numbers, and then you've got the supercharged set of numbers. So uh, it gets complicated, but I think it will be worthwhile. So. Uh, that said, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on Hammer Slam Bowser and Dark Hammer Slam Bowser. Which one do you prefer? We got a poll up on the Skylander Club forum. Skylanderclub.com. Surf over, surf down, scroll down, I should say. Uh, surf there and then scroll down to the polls and discussion section. Uh, cast your vote. You do not have to be a registered member on the forum to vote. That means anyone can vote. So if you're Dark Bowser's number one fan, vote for him. Have your parents vote for him. Tell your friends to vote for him. The more people we get active in the polls, the better of a sample we'll have. And that, of course, makes me happy. And you can take solstice in knowing that you did your part to help your favorite character win their pool battle. So uh, we got that going there. Again, this research section, I will have these spreadsheets coming up. As we get the full upgrade sets done, I'm not releasing them partial with just the base upgrades. Rest assured, they are logged. But uh, once we get all the vehicles and I have the cash and everything in place to do both paths, uh, we will come in and we will get them up for the rest of the characters. But Bowser, kind of our guinea pig here, and uh, hopefully... Like I said, it comes in handy for you. But uh, once again, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Make sure you are subscribed. Your support is appreciated. I am not 
with a conglomerate third party network. Uh, so I get cross promoted by everyone that is in a third party conglomerate network. Uh, it is a mess, it gets worse every year. Your support actually means something here because it's beneficial because I don't get cross promoted, I just get cross promoted over. Uh, so I'm kind of fighting the man here and I need your help. Uh, essentially so uh, if you like what I'm doing here tell your friends about it and encourage them to subscribe as well really I believe I'm the only person that does this sort of a thing so uh, it's kind of a niche audience I've carved out everyone is real unlike people with a third party conglomerate network uh, that magically join and bump up double their subscribers within a month that's uh, if you wonder how that stuff works it's it's quite underhanded most of the time, but uh, it's another story, another day. Uh, but again, it's just, it's gotten really bad, the cross-promotion has. And, uh, your own videos get buried on your own playlist. It's it's pretty weird. <laughs> Even for me, I'll be logged in on my own playlist, and instead of going from Hammerslam Bowser down Koopa Commander to Dark Bowser down Molten Monstrosity, I go to some other person's channel thanks to autoplay cross promotion so uh, it's ridiculous your support is appreciated it slightly combats that I don't know that we can ever end it but it can kind of be softened so uh, please like I said if you enjoy it leave a like leave a comment share the video tell your friends to subscribe make five accounts and fight the spam bots from the uh, conglomerate third party networks if you want to but, so, I do all this for fun again it's kind of a niche audience uh, this type of stuff is not up everyone's alley, but it's what's up mine, and if you're watching at this point in time, it is definitely up yours too. So, uh, kind of an interesting deal here with the dark attack damage. Now, that's been my big revelation here, and uh, I intend to go back and kind of check out with some of our legendaries like Jetvac. Uh, kind of compare and contrast, see if he gets the slight stat boost like Dark Bowser and Donkey Kong gets. So we'll be working on that. Our next upgrade set, it will be a full upgrade set. Base upgrades, both paths, it'll be turbocharged Donkey Kong. We will also log his supercharged attack damage numbers on screen. Uh, so be looking for that. Might be out this weekend, Monday, some somewhere in that time frame. So uh, stay tuned. As always, thanks so much for watching. I will probably be streaming several chapters here from the Wii U version possibly this weekend don't hold me to it but that's that's tentatively the plan so be on the lookout for that as well again if you follow me on Twitter I will keep you up to date with all that you can also find the Twitter feed on my personal website hornawisdom.com once again subscribe follow me on Twitch follow me on Twitter following on Twitter is actually better than following on Twitch because Twitch oftentimes doesn't send out the notifications without a delay, so that's why I kind of encourage the Twitter route. So, uh, that said, you know the drill, Facebook, Google+, all that jazz, whatever you like. Uh, and again, if you're hardcore into Skylanders, check out the Skylander Club forum. I think you'll like it. If you do, sign up. We would love to have you. But for myself and Dark Hammer Slam Bowser, we are up to date here. We've got him fully upgraded down both paths. Very excited to actually use him in the game now. Fully upgraded and wreck some uh, Skylander baddies. So stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching, and I will catch you back here for more Skylander Superchargers research.